Hi, my name is Scott Fong, and I am a principal engineer with Cisco Systems. I am also co-chair to SPDM at DMTF. I would like to introduce SPDM version 1.0. There are two major features in SPDM 1.0. They are authentication and attestation. Also, SPDM is created in a way that other standards can reference or use SPDM. As previously said, authentication is one of the major features in SPDM. Authentication allows a platform to verify the identity of the attached component using X.509 version 3 certificates. Consequently, it also allows the platform to, to decide what to do if such verifications fail. Attestation is the other major feature. This feature allows the platform to verify the state of the component using various measurements, which are raw bit streams or bit hashes of various com configurations of the component. Some examples, as you can see here, of what measurements cover are immutable and immutable code, various points in the boot stages, state variables or configuration data. This list is not exhaustive. To perform authentication or attestation, the SPDM recommends this flow. In a diagram, there are two SPDM endpoints that communicate to each other. They are the requester and responder. To start the communication, the requester sends a get version and the responder responds with version. This request and response pair is important for a few reasons. One reason is that it discovers all the versions supported by the responder. The second reason is the requester selects which version to use for the remainder of the SPDM communication with that responder. The last reason is that it allows for interoperability and compatibility of different versions of SPDM requests and responders. Now, once the requester decides which version to use, it sends the get capabilities command, and the responder responds with capabilities. This part of the flow discovers the capabilities of both SPDM endpoints. If the correct capability bits are set, the requester proceeds with negotiate algorithms and expects an algorithm response. This request and response pair negotiates the various algorithms to be used in future communication with each other. The responder selects the algorithms in this flow. Next, the requester may issue get digest and the responder responds with digest. This request response provide, provide hashes of each certificate chain to help the requester identify a potentially cached certificate chain. Now, if the requester does not have the certificate chain already, the requester issues get certificate requests to retrieve the actual certificate chain from the responder in the certificate response. This now brings us to one of the most important request response message. That is the challenge and challenge R. Up to this point, the requester can only verify the, the certificate chain, which is a crucial part of authentication. The challenge and challenge R proves the responder holds the private key associated with the leave certificate. If both certificate verify verification passes and challenge and challenge off succeed and component authentication has succeeded. The last message is get measurement and measurements response. This command is key to the attestation feature as I have mentioned before. This command retrieves one or all of the measurements from the responder.
Here are the links to the SPDM specification as well as, bind, as, the, as well as the binding specification to MCTP, which is a transport protocol. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for watching. Please share your feedback to, D, to the DMTF feedback portal. Please also subscribe to DMTF and watch our other videos 